Hey guys, so today I'm going to be giving you my predictions and set ideas for what I think could be coming in some accessory packs uh, for LEGO Star Wars next year. So if you haven't heard, we got a rumour a few days ago now uh, that next year in 2022, presumably January, uh, we'll be getting two LEGO Star Wars accessory packs plus an Infinity Saga one. Uh, but yeah, this is really cool news, like especially two I didn't expect. Uh, but just getting these in general, we haven't gotten them before. We've had them for other themes and stuff. They usually come with three to four figures. Uh, one or two are usually exclusive. Um, and they'll come with like a small build or something. Uh, but they're really cool. They'd be a great kind of uh, counter thing for battle packs. Uh, obviously, uh, that's the weird thing about these. Uh, is that if they are going to be making it, it has to be something which they couldn't do in a battle pack so I don't think they're going to be doing an imperial one with three stormtroopers and something because well they could get away with charging $20 for that now I think that getting these for $15 which they will be uh, is still kind of I guess another reason why Lego could be doing the $20 battle packs this year to differentiate them and because it's Star Wars and because they're $15 compared to $20 I think that most of these will probably have three figures uh, instead of four, which is disappointing, but maybe some of them they'll have to have four. My first prediction or set idea is one based on The Mandalorian Season 1, because it is our last chance to get a coil figure, I think they'll be the, ex the exclusive figure, the others wouldn't be, uh, but you could come with IG-11, I guess a Scout Trooper and Grogu, or an incinerator trooper that would be really epic i'm not sure if they would do that uh but if they did include four that would be great it include two troops and then those two figures uh but mostly people would begin this just for quill and for the build i'm not sure you could just have a speeder bike or include a blurg it would have to be like brick built i'm imagining i guess uh with the size it would have to be like a brick built animal like the micro fighters uh but yeah that'll be interesting uh i think whatever happens this is our last chance to get quill and our last chance to really get a season one set because the last season one set we got is probably going to be the armor's mandalorian forge sadly um maybe they'll go back to it eventually but we definitely need a quill and this is the time to do it i've seen a lot of people throwing around that this could be the way we get commander cody and i definitely don't doubt that uh i think lego if lego really does want to put him in a cheap set this is the place to do it have him as the exclusive figure, add an Obi-Wan, hopefully the Clone Wars outfit, but that's kind of unlikely. And then do two battle droids. I don't think they'll do two 12th troopers, uh, but that would be great if they did, maybe even just the paratroopers. Uh, but whatever they do, it'll be pretty cool. Uh, I do kind of doubt this one though. The next one is one from the Bad Batch, being a Sid's Parlor kind of one. It'll come with Omega, uh, Sid, and then Kitchen Bolo. Uh, again, this is for... Most of these I'll predict four, but I think that only three will be coming, but I'll just put a fourth one on anyways. Uh, but this one, something on the Bad Batch makes a lot of sense. Uh, I think that they could do Omega in other sets and arguably more expensive sets. Uh, Sid and the other two wouldn't be come unless we got a Sid's Parlor, but that's the thing. They could just release these figures in a $30, $40 Sid's Parlor uh, instead of this. Uh, go check out my custom set of Sid's Parlor, the 18 plus one if you haven't already. Uh, but yeah, I'm not too sure about this one. Again, just they could release it in a bigger set, so why would they do it here? So in my latest video, the UCS8080 will be an important one. Uh, I discussed these accessory packs and how we could get one uh, to go alongside the rest of this Hoth wave. Uh, but I kind of have gone back on that because I actually don't think it will happen. Uh, mostly because I don't think we'll be getting like a Rebel Pilots and a uh, Hoth Rebel Trooper Battle Pack or, well not a Battle Pack, uh, but an Accessory Pack because they can do it in a Battle Pack. And I just, it's like, like I said before about the Clone Troopers and stuff, uh, that if they can put it in a $20 set instead of 15 they will put it in the $20 set. So it's just, it's just interesting to me, I find it kind of weird, that's where I'm kind of, I don't know, it's, it's just weird with these Accessory Packs why they're doing these. Uh, so I think there's only a few uh, specific things which they'll be doing. Uh, the next one is the one that I think is the most likely, and it makes a lot of sense why you would use these accessory packs. 
and because on October 1st this year we're getting Terrifying Tales, uh, a new LEGO style special on Disney+, Plus. why not have one based on that? Last year for the holiday special they put some figures in the advent calendar because it made sense, uh, but this year they haven't been able to, obviously because they don't usually do a Halloween set. Uh, so this would be the way to release those figures. Uh, obviously, I think in this would also explain the two packs. I think in one pack you'd have Poe, BB-8, and the new character Dean, whose torso looks a lot like Omega. Um, so I think that would be a three. If there was a four, I'd really hope uh, that they could do a Vinay or the Vader, the dude from Vader's castle. They could also do Grabala, but again, that's a big heart. And for the build, it could really be anything. Just some cool thing from the Darth Vader's castle. Uh, just a little side build, and I would love that, honestly. Have it be a little comedic, too. And the second one from Terrifying Tales, which is a bit of a stretch, but it will be insane, would be one based off all of these cool minifigures we saw in the trailer. We got Mother Talzin, Ren, the original Knight of Ren from the Rise of Kylo Ren comics, a Ben Solo minifigure, and maybe even the Darth Maul with spider legs, though I think. If it was going to be three, uh, then that one would be the one left out. Mostly because the torso is the same as the one from Jewel on Mandalore. So hopefully like a shirtless mall, that would be incredible. Imagine how cool that would be. And I think it does warrant the accessory pack because you can't really have all of those figures uh, in a battle pack because they don't really go well together. But in an accessory pack, it makes so much sense. Uh, and I guess if you didn't want to have spider maul, you could do like the Luke Skywalker in the TIE Fighter pilot uh, uniform, but that would be kind of a boring figure, I think, uh, just because it would reuse other parts. Uh, but overall, I think that this would be such a cool accessory pack, and I really hope that it happens. I think it actually has a decent chance uh, over some of the others. Like, honestly, I think this is more likely than Cody, and I think I prefer it to Cody, which is great. Uh, maybe they do a mix of the two, honestly. Uh, maybe both of them will be based on Terrifying Tales, that would be insane. Um, there's only other, really one other thing that I could think of uh, that would warrant an accessory pack. And that is Star Wars Visions. We are not rumoured or haven't got anything based on the show, uh, and I, do get, I definitely get why. Uh, but I guess if they really wanted to, they could do an accessory pack. Uh, this would kind of make a lot of sense to me. Don't know exactly what they'd do, they have, they'd have a lot of choices really. They could honestly have a CMF worth of interesting figures. I uh, don't know how they do the eyes though, that does interest me. Uh, if they do like the Clone Wars style eyes or the regular eyes. Uh, but I don't know, I think it's kind of unlikely, but that is just an idea. Other than that, I'm not really sure what's coming. Uh, do I think it'll be based on the original trilogy? Possibly. Uh, I feel like other than like some figures we don't really get. Uh, it's quite unlikely, like I don't think we'll see a Chewy, Luke, Han, Leia thing. Uh, the only thing I could see, which I actually really want, I would be like one with Mon Mothma, Crix Maydine, Admiral Akbar, call it like the Rebel Leaders battle pack. That would actually be really cool, I actually kind of want that. Uh, but yeah, I think that would be quite just a cool way to get some unique figures. We could also get like Aunt Beru, uh, but I think she'd come in at last homestead. See, this is the thing with accessory packs, right? Uh, that I've been saying because uh, some of these things we could just get in other sets. So these are really interesting for Star Wars uh, So I'm really looking forward to see what ha what's happening. Let me know your thoughts down below What do you think will be happening? However, that will be of today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to like and subscribe. That'll be all folks Goodbye